Um, as I mentioned in the uh, other video, and I actually got to upload that other video now that I said it. Um, give me a sec. There we go. Just give me a sec to fill it in. Did I count everything? Yes, I did. Creative and save. Alright. Anywho. <clears throat> uh, this video I'm going to call Don't Pray For Me, I Don't Need It. And what this is about, it, there are times when it's okay to pray for someone. Alright? Someone animal, a uh, dog, a cat, someone's pet dies, pray for them. Uh, someone's sick, pray for them. You know, someone, uh, someone who has somebody in their family who, you know, dying or whatnot, or sick, or whatnot, pray for them. If someone is traveling in this holiday weather, and this holiday rush, pray for that I don't mind you know pray for me all you want on that but don't really don't douche around and try to shove religion down my throat and this is the subject I want to bring up um, and I'm hoping that I'm not the only one that's ever encountered this you know uh, transgender people gays and lesbians Y'all root for me on this, because if you live here in the South, you know what that, you know pretty much what I'm getting at. And that is when someone, when you tell somebody, some, when you tell somebody you're gay or lesbian or transgender, and they turn around and say, Honey, I'm going to pray to God, I'm going to pray to Jesus tonight, to, so that, you would open up your heart to the Lord and change your wicked ways. Insert random. It's going to be something along that line. I pray for you to be normal. You know. That is what I encounter every so often. And let me tell you. Nothing pisses anybody off. It's when somebody talks about I'm going to pray that you're changed. Pray that you'll be our word of acceptance. And I've, I actually had someone say that to me on a Facebook, a relative. You know, I didn't tell her I was transgender. She just, you know, always said, how can you always dressing up like a guy? And I just said, well, I, I, I like to. You know, she's the older generation. I didn't want to get in the whole lengthy discussion as to what all this was. You know. And she turned around and, like on my Facebook wall, told everybody, "Well, I, I prayed that, I prayed that the Lord would set you straight." And I'm like, "Oh, uh, what do you mean?" She said, honey, I'm praying, for, I'm going to pray for you every night so that you will straighten yourself up. Because you can't get a man if you're going to look like a man. And I'm like, well, uh, you know, thank, thanks for your concern, but what makes you think I want a man? And she just said, well, honey. You're not getting any younger, you need to have a baby. Hi, I'm 31 years old, I live in the South, and I don't have kids. Holy crap! That's the biggest scandal in history. Really? <laughs> and I told her, I said, well, but I don't want kids. And, oh, she said something I hear so many times. 
Which is also the reason why I don't want to have kids. She said, you know, she said my name, she said, but they're God's gift. Don't you want God's gift? I'm like, well, if kids are God's gift, then what the hell is cancer? I mean, cancer kills. And we're fighting cancer. And we're going up again. What if that was God's way, you know? Don't don't say you know, don't send me hate mail on that. That's just how I argue with people. Because I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, not everybody wants kids. And I told her, I said, I don't want kids. I don't want a man. Girl, your age need to have a husband and kids. I don't want that. Well, I'm going to pray that the Lord sets you straight on your wicked ways and that he sends you a man. But I really don't want that. I, I don't need a husband. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need kids you know and she just kind of wouldn't let it stop and I'm like uh so I know her to play Farmville Sim City I'm at Farmville Sim Social Pet Society Cityville 20 other games went to bed woke up the next day and the heifer had thrown me a prayer circle. She freaking had people, friends of hers who were praying for me. And I, you know, I just respond to her. I said, you know, I'm 31 years old. I don't want kids. I don't want a husband. I never wanted kids. I never wanted a husband. I, you know, I, I'm, uh, well, I didn't tell them I was transgender because, oh my god. <laughs> and I said, as for my wicked ways, I said, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I've never been arrested. I don't get in fights with people. I don't punch babies. I don't you know, mistreat animals. I open doors for people. I help my mama and grandma out the best I can. I said, I don't do bad things. I don't judge people. I said, if you consider somebody dressing up like a guy to be a wicked way, then maybe you need to read up on what wicked really is and that was you know pretty much it I just ignored her and I think the next day I deleted her or blocked her or something like that I didn't want to hear that but you get that in the south you always get somebody like you need to have kids Cause that's what everyone's doing. Have kids, have babies, have get married, get married and have kids as soon as you turn 18. And this happens, and then no, you know. And it's sad because I've seen girls I went to school with now, they're my age, but when I look at them, they look like they're approaching 50. You know, it's like I'm 31 years old and I got three kids and, you know, I've been divorced twice. They got crow's feet. They're smoking cigarettes. They're looking 50. They're sounding 50. I mean, they literally look like all hell has broken loose and they just got out of the freaking war, you know? I don't want to look like that. I don't want to, like as soon as I turn 18 or as soon as I turn, you know, 21, I don't want to go, okay, well, now I'm an adult. I need to hurry up and get married and have kids. Because guess what happens? If you start doing that, if you start 
having babies. I, I don't care about marriage, but if you start, like, you know, having babies as soon as you turn 18. By the time you get in, they always get my age, they always have three kids. Seriously. Every one of them, like, I got three kids. By the time you get my age and your third kid, you already have your third kid going to, you know, school age. You really don't have that much of a freedom anymore. You know, you're 18. Right? You're supposed to go and enjoy your youth. Enjoy your freedom. But they don't. They, And everyone thinks that's normal. I guess peer pressure. Anyway, just, I don't need prayer to change who I am. You know, I tell people, I tell people, well, the Lord has seen me in less atrocious ways. You gotta realize, when you're born, the Lord has seen you, but naked and covered in blood. When he looks at you, he sees that you're precious. He don't say, Ew. Ew. Somebody wash this. And I, you know, it shouldn't matter. So again, don't pray for me when I don't need it. I don't need prayer to grow up. 